The movie begins with a girl named Lisa. She is a 17-year-old girl who is living with her grandmother and her boyfriend Morris. Morris forcibly does bad things to Lisa every night, and she can't tell anyone even if she wants to. Meanwhile, Lisa's sister wants her to come back home, while her mother has sent her to stay with her grandmother and she has no interest in calling her back home. One day, before going to work, Lisa wrote a letter in which she wrote that she could not live any more like a slave, and leaving that letter there on the table she left the house later. After finishing her work Lisa went to return home and then suddenly a man stopped her in the middle of the road and threatened her and made her a prisoner. That man forced Lisa to go with him. Lisa didn't know where he was taking her and what he was going to do with her. He told Lisa that if she saw his face he would have to kill her, and he brought her home far away from the city. That man blindfolded Lisa's eyes and made her a prisoner. And when he asked her about her name and age Lisa told him her false name and age. The next morning Lisa's grandmother had to inform the police that she was missing. Despite this, she admitted that Lisa had run away from home. Moreover, neither she nor Lisa's mother cared about Lisa, and only Lisa's sister believed that something was wrong with her. On the other hand, that man was doing wrong with Lisa again and again. And at that time, Lisa was thinking about what Morris was doing with her, and that her grandmother did nothing, even though she knew everything. Lisa began to understand that her kidnapper was taking revenge on women, and that some women had mistreated him. Keeping this in mind, she started using reverse psychology and started trying to win his trust. She started telling him things he liked to hear, and Lisa's plan started working slowly. While the police started looking for Lisa to find out about her, a police officer spoke to her boss. Her boss told her that she was behaving differently last night and was worried about something. And along with her boss, the police officer also felt that Lisa had left her home. The kidnapper saw a kidnapping news on TV and he felt that it was Lisa's news and knowing that Lisa had told him her false name and age, he started yelling at her. Later, as soon as she got a chance, Lisa used that man's bathroom and by keeping him away from her, she left her fingerprints on the bathroom doors and walls. Lisa did not want to lose hope, and she started looking into whatever she could find out about the kidnapper. When the man began to suspect that Lisa was planning something, he started yelling at her again, and to escape. Lisa spoke to him as if she was worried about that man. It was very, difficult for Lisa to gather her courage because her life was already such that she did not want to live, because her own mother did not trust her words, and she did not care that Morris took advantage of her. And along with taking advantage, he takes her money. Despite enduring all this, Lisa was trying her best so that the man would start trusting her and she could escape from there. She told that man that her father lives alone and he is sick. She wants to take care of him so she wants to go home. Hearing this, the man is already in a dilemma. After a while, he says that he would have to kill Lisa. He forced her into his car and said that he should have killed her before. Lisa was only happy in her life, when she used to go to meet her uncle and aunt. Now only memories are left around her and she knows that she will die soon. The kidnapper put a gun at her head. She tried a lot to convince that man, and she kept begging for her life, and then suddenly that man changed his mind. And he left Lisa alive and said that if she tried to go to the police, then he would find her and kill her. As soon as Lisa got a chance, she started running away from there, and seeing her running away that man followed her again. However, somehow Lisa managed to get to her house after being kidnapped for 26 hours when she told her grandmother she didn't believe her. She told the police that Lisa was fine and nothing wrong had happened to her. However, due to the procedure, the police asked Lisa to be interrogated. The next day during the interrogation, Lisa said that she was forced to do wrong things, and she was kidnapped, and she stayed with him all the time. She also said that she wanted to survive. She did everything that the kidnapper asked her to do. Then Detective Lopez, felt that Lisa was telling a false story. Like her family, the police officer didn't trust Lisa, and she started breaking up again. After a while, two detectives came to meet her. They asked Lisa everything, and they found it strange that Lisa was trying to understand the things around her. And like a police officer, she was collecting evidence at the time when she was a prisoner. And both of them started thinking that Lisa was making this story by watching a TV show. After that, Lisa said that she didn't see that man's face, however, she touched him and she could tell them about him. And after hearing that, both the detectives said that they didn't want to hear Lisa's stories. Lisa couldn't bear the fact that there was no one in the world who trusted her, and she was all alone. At that time, the police were looking for a serial killer who killed nine women, and Sergeant Larry was handling that case. Larry was told about Lisa's case, and he was told that Lisa's story was not trustworthy. And Larry saw that Lisa was a child, and he decided to take her case into his hands. He told Lisa that the way he would protect his daughter, he would also protect her. And that's why he wants to know her whole story. Lisa told him everything from the beginning about that man's car, about that place, and about his face. 
Larry trusted him and told the other detectives that such details could not be a false story. Larry wanted the help of Lisa's family in this case, and soon he understood what Lisa's family was like. He talked to Lisa about this because he understood that something was going wrong with Lisa, in her house, and when Lisa told him everything, Morris was arrested for raping an underage girl. Lisa finally got a chance to get out of that house. On leaving the house, she told his grandmother that all bad things happened because they did not protect her. Larry took Lisa to Sergeant Hannah's house, with whom she will now live, and after leaving the house, he started looking for that serial killer. Whatever happened to Lisa affected her so badly that she felt that the kidnapper was coming to her to find her, and to help, her Hannah asked her to meet a psychiatrist. The next morning, while talking to him, Larry realized that she was very smart and she had collected so much evidence that Larry could easily catch that man. And then Lisa remembered that she had seen that man before. Larry thought that Lisa's kidnapper was probably the same serial killer who was being searched by the police. And he insisted on bringing Lisa to his team. He was afraid that if that man was the same serial killer and knew that Lisa was still alive, then Lisa's life was in danger. So he asked Lisa to stay in his house and advised her to hide for a few days. He started keeping Lisa with his daughter Sarah all the time and started treating Lisa like his own daughter. A few days later, Larry made Lisa a witness in that case and officially declared her kidnapper a serial killer. Lisa was taken to the place where she was kidnapped, and after trying for a few days, Lisa found that tree where the kidnapper, Bobby, had left her. And then Larry gave orders to investigate the area around that tree. Soon a police officer saw exactly the same car as Lisa had told him about the car, and that car was Bobby's. Somehow he managed to take a picture of Bobby, and he told his team about the suspect on the other hand. Lisa was still unable to get out of that trauma while Larry was trying his best to handle her. When Lisa was shown a picture of all the suspects at the police station, she immediately recognized Bobby and soon the police arrested him. Larry investigated Bobby's house and he got all the evidence he needed, and all this happened because of Lisa. The next morning he told Lisa about Bobby's arrest and told her that he did what the police couldn't do in six months, and Lisa was thanked for her bravery in getting Bobby arrested and saving many girls. Finally, Larry told Lisa that he wanted to adopt her. However, while th his help Lisa refused and his Aunt Carol and uncle came to pick him up. They apologized to him because they didn't know what was happening to him at his grandmother's house. And before going with them, Lisa said that she would come to meet Larry again. Lisa started living with her sister at her aunt's house where she and her sister got all the happiness they needed, and they came away from their hell-like world forever. Lisa grew up to be a police officer who works on crimes against girls and children. And for her crimes committed in 1984, Bobby Joe Long was sentenced to death in 2019. With that, the movie ends here.